Joe Button's fan base has turned on him since his co-host Rory and Maul have gone on strike. And I'm going to explain exactly why they did go on strike. But if you look at his newest video in which he explains why, it's rocking 6,000 dislikes with only 5,000 likes and plenty of the comments of people saying, oh, I'm not going to listen until Rory and Maul are back. Joe's really the problem. So let me break down why those dudes left. And it has to do with money 100 percent money and they got together because these two dudes like if it was something else then just one of them would be like i'm not coming back to the show the fact that they did it in unison means it has to 100 percent do with money now this goes all the way back to the spotify deal as you remember joe rogan's uh, joe rogan joe budden his podcast was on Spotify, and then Spotify signed Joe Rogan for $100 million a year, which prompted Joe Budden to go and ask for an insane amount of money, according to some people in the industry who know what kind of deals people get offered. And now Rory and Maul publicly were like, yeah, we're with Joe we want him to get all this extra money for us. But I guarantee you behind the scenes, when Spotify made the offer, they were probably like, well, that's more than they're paying us now. And then we'll, we're fine with that. But Joe wanted that insane Joe Rogan bag. But he's Joe Budden. So they end up leaving Spotify. And now Joe Budden is just doing his own thing. And then I think they got upset that Joe Budden switched up the game on him. And it was no longer the Joe Budden podcast. It became the Joe Budden podcast network. And they probably noticed that since Spotify wasn't paying the overhead on like production and stuff, and now that was coming out of Joe's pocket, they were probably all making less money than they were at Spotify and were going to with that new Spotify deal that Joe Budden turned down. And they're probably witnessing Joe Budden bring on other shows. I think there's a show there he has with two chicks. And they're probably looking at it like, all right, we wanted to stay at Spotify, but you asked for an insane amount of money and left to do your own thing. Now we're making less money than we did last year and you're hiring more people and giving more of our money away. And I, the, they're striking together because they want more money from Joe. That's the way I see it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments.